Hey everyone, welcome to Higan Eruthil. We're talking, or we're going to be talking about plays from the best to the worst. I'm, I'm not arranging it according to the best to the worst, but these are some of the best plays that you should look out for and also the the worst ones that you should look out for. Obviously, there would be um, plays a lot in the middle, so we'll discuss that as well. The ones that I won't be discussing are the plays in the Mesmerizing Shop. Uh, uh, Imperial Cat will be discussed later and also Stronger. The ones, the ones that I won't be discussing would be Devil Cupid, Pluto, and Fairy Godmother. They are special specialized plays for farming. So I won't be discussing them because uh, they're not really part of your battle plan. These are for farming. Okay, and I won't recommend you guys buy them as well unless you have tons of these currency that you have lying around. Okay, so let's go to the wish shop. And uh, the ones that I'm going to be talking about are in the pool for the regular banner. So these are so far the place that we have. The pool uh, only has up to your three star plays. Okay, so uh, no, no two star. Two stars are with your mesmerizing labyrinth. That, that is where you get them. But again, two stars are usually fodder for your three, four, and five stars. So we'll start off with your three stars and we'll start off with Uhelia. This one, um, I'll, I'll go straight to the point. This one doesn't has only limited or no use at all because the effect of the 3p set is just a polymorph to polymorph a random enemy at the start this is just one time and this only for four seconds so i don't expect you guys to use this um if you are going to use it probably it's going to just be temporary because you have no other um place to use next up is going to be madame mer madame mer is usually for backline it's based on basic attack focus and for AP characters, Caster and Aduit Tricks. So I'm recommending this for Caster and Aduit Tricks only. Okay, so next up we have Prolo, uh, Car Carota. This one is one of the most, um, this is one of the most, um, sorry, this one is one of the best three star or, you know, low budget plays that, uh, that, that we have so far. I'm fond of using this because this is very, very nice, very straightforward, you know, set. Increase AD by 32, increase damage dealt by a basic attack by 20%. And it's three star. It's easy to, you know, to put more stars to it, you know. <laughs> okay, so this one is either used either frontline or backline. Again, focus on your basic attack. This is focus on basic attack. AD characters. So you have Guardian, Hoplite, Assassin, and Ranger. So those four may use this one. I'm currently using this with um, with Fen. I'm using this as well with uh, Rita so far. So you could also use this with Eluya just to start her off if you don't have other sets. Again, this is a very, very good three-piece set. Uh, but it's only for AD characters. Uh, Guardian, Hoplite, Assassin, and Ranger. Okay, next up is going to be your Tin Girl. Tin Girl is for frontline damage reduction. It's going to be best suited for Hoplite and Assassin. Okay, so it's for damage reduction really. And next up is going to be santina this is, this is also one of the plays that either it's very limited use or no use at all because upon entering gains a shield equal to 50 percent max hp within 12 seconds although this is this doesn't have a downside but again this is only one time it doesn't trigger again so therefore uh, more bad it for me, it doesn't have value that much, and it, it's either a limited or no use at all. Next up is going to be Seth. So Seth is, um, this is, I think, um, magic resistance, 
by 32 when defeated increase an ally's ad and ap by 15 percent within eight within eight seconds this one also has limited or no use at all um can be used by ad characters either a guardian or a hoplite so um it's up to you usually the limited or no use um plays i would only recommend them if you don't have any as of the moment probably use them temporarily then discard them once you have better plays to be used okay next up is going to be horus so for horus is going to be the last of the three star so horus is uh focused on the back line um ultimate this is going to be focusing on the ultimate ap characters especially a caster okay so take note so ultimate damage by 25 percent uh, reduce the basic attack damage uh, while reducing the basic attack damage by 15 so it increases your ultimate damage i tried this one with siamcom and i think it worked well so uh casters which have a lot of damage on their ultimate skill is going to benefit from this one they're at the back usually and they don't usually deal a lot of basic attack damage so um, this this trade-off will only work for casters. Example is going to be Siamcom. Okay, so that is the last of our three star. The best among here is just this one, Karota. Um, this is a very very nice um, entry level um, entry level. What do you call this for AD characters? Guardian, Hoplite, Assassin, and Ranger. So. That is your um, three star, and moving on to your four star. Four star is they're a little bit harder to farm than three. Um, very hard to get copies of, um, even if you, uh, especially if you're starting. So we'll start off with Doctor Gong Soon. Doctor Gong Gong Soon is for your backline AP stat increases ap characters uh mostly used by casters so ap um probably some of your adobe tricks will also use this one okay so next up is going to be gray big wolf backline as well increase ad by 10 basic attack focus ad characters and this one is going to be used for your ranger okay because rangers don't really move that much especially if you place them well so you will lose stacks as soon as you are going to move so this is perfect for rangers because they're ad as well okay moving on to king 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 <laughs> increase healing received so this one, King King, is for frontline. This is healing received. So meaning um, heroes who receive the healing, not the healer. Okay, so AD characters, either Hoplite or Assassin, will all will benefit from this because they are squishier than your Guardian. So that is it. King King, Lionerton. This is for frontline, but this one has limited or no use okay ad characters guardian and hoplite so upon entering battle increase energy recharge by 13 percent within 15 seconds this this effect expires after casting a skill okay so this is i think one time and one time you know effects i doesn't work for me um it has no it has no value but it will serve its purpose if you don't have better place as the moment again you can use them next up is going to be sleek rat so sleek rat is either front or back low cost damage skills so if you have low cost damage skills you can use them this is actually for all guardian hoplite assassin ranger caster and a do it tricks so when casting a skill consume at consume at most two energy consume at most two energy to gain 30% damage bonus. Okay. So I assume consume at most two extra energy. So this is two extra energy on top of the scale. So if it's a local skill, I don't think this will be a problem. 
and the damage bonus is 30%. Okay, that's Leak Rat. Um, next is this one, Zhu Ying Tai. Increase armor by 10. So this one is after casting a skill. Damage reduction. This is mostly used for your frontline. AD characters, either Guardian or Hoplite. Okay. Next up is Dr. Watson. One of, I think, the best four star that we have. So increase AP by 10. After casting a skill, has a 40% chance to gain three energy. Which is nice because it has a trigger. 40% is already good. It's actually high. Uh, than most chances <laughs> and to gain three energy is actually nice so backline this is going to be either energy charge energy recharge or energy manipulation ap characters either for caster or for a do it trick so one of the best that we have okay next up is going to be lobelia so lobelia is increased healing effect Heal the target by 1%. So this one is actually uh, for your for your healers. For your Aduit Trix healers. Backline healing, AP characters, and Aduit Trix. This is actually the 4-star version. There's a 5-star version of this. This is also one of the best for your healers. Okay, next up is going to be Straw Girl. Straw Girl, Straw Girl here. Is, is actually available in the store. So you might want to, you know, get her uh, just in case you need more four stars. Uh, serviceable, um, ideally for frontline, damage reduction, AD characters, Guardian, and Hoplite. So increase uh, melee resistance by three, uh, magic resistance by three. If burst damage taken is higher than 10% of max HP, then the overkill damage Will be reduced by 20 not really a spectacular one but serviceable four star play okay so we have uh two more four stars uh, we'll start off with phantom so phantom is either front or back ad stat increase okay and um ad characters guardian hoplite assassin ranger increase max hp for the two-piece setting after casting a skill or ultimate, increase 80 by 30% within 5 seconds. So, again, this is also a nice one to use. Uh, because Also because of the max HP. So, probably not... I think one of the best. Uh, very. This is very utilitarian. And uh, the, 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 the AD is at 30% is actually very, very nice. Last up is going to be Eluda. So Eluda here is also either front or back. AD stat increases. AD characters, Guardian, Hoplite, Assassin, Ranger. So increase AD by 10. Increase basic attack damage by 3 per second up to 10 stacks. All stacks will be expired when changing the target. So as long as the your character doesn't change target, then stacks of basic at attack damage by three so that's up to 30 percent which is actually nice which is i think one of the best four star that we have so just to recap we have uh, eluda be uh, one of the best phantom um near the best no, i would say near the best next up is lobelia um starting for your you know for four star uh this is for your healer then who else? Lubelia. Uh, okay, sorry. Lubelia. Phantom. Where's Phantom? Dr. Watson Pro is here. So, again, these are your best ones that you should, you know, uh, take note in terms of uh, your four star. So, moving on to the five star, guys. Five star. Okay, so this is a bit long video. We are at 14 minutes. I'll just uh, go through the five stars. We have a lot of five stars. And we're starting off with Lady Bai. Okay, Lady Bai is, for me, one of the best in terms of damage reduction. Uh, backline, 
AP characters, this affects actually a Duitrix. So for Lady Bai, if you have a Duitrix, then this uh, Lady Bai can, you know, is usually, it can be used for a Duitrix. Next up is going to be Ohita. So this is the five star um, version of um, the healing effect that a while ago that I mentioned. So this is up to 15. So also one of the best at five star. This is for your do it trick as well. Healing and backline and AP characters. Next up is going to be Su Su Suan. I Shu Suan. I don't know. I I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, magic resistant by 15. This one has a lot ultimate energy attack speed healing received for the three piece set. Um, applicable to AD characters, mainly Hoplite or Assassin. So you might want to say, you know, look for this if you have a Hoplite, like for example, if you have Eluya, if you have Surslet. I think this is the what this is a good one to equip to them. So please take note, one of the best five star that we have. Next up is going to be Mikey. I don't like Mikey right off the bat. Um, this is actually available in the current um, the current banner that we have. So Mikey Frontline, Damage Increase, AD Characters, Hoplite, and Assassin. But this one, for, for you to have more damage, your HP has to go down. So it's a bit of a risk. So usually it only happens to Hoplite and Assassin characters. So... I'm I'm okay with this on average, but I don't like it personally. But you can use it actually. It's an average um, type of play. Next up is going to be Ret. So Ret is critical rate increase. Every one meter distance increase with opponent will increase damage dealt by five percent. So Ret backline critical increase. AP characters who can use it. Um, even your Aduitrix can use it, Ranger and Caster. Okay, this is for critical increase, and this is ideally for your ranged characters or heroes. Okay, next what next one is Holmos. Holmos. Backline crit um sorry, either front or back, energy recharge, additional damage can be played with all. This is what I like. This is a very versatile, you know, versatile uh, play. Enemy recharge. A lot of things happening here. Additional damage and can be used by everybody. Also, one of the best that we have. Next up is going to be Vita. So, Vita, either front or back. Uh, healing uh, can be used by a healer. When HP instantly heals, okay, no, this is healing for that specific hero who uses it. So it triggers only one time. All so preferably use it with an Aduitrix, Assassin, Ranger, or Caster. So the squishier ones. So not not the 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 bulkier ones. So this is also nice. Um next up is going to be Dorothy. So Dorothy either it's applicable to all, but it has limited or no use. So after casting a skill returns, restores HP equal to perform a basic attack will cause this effect to expire. So my problem with this one, okay. Uh, as soon as you use a basic attack, especially if you're in auto, uh, this automatically cancels out. So usually characters would do basic attack right after, you know, anything else. So this one is, I think, a very useless play. Please don't use it unless if you are really, you know, you don't have anything in its five star. So after casting a skill restore, uh, performing a basic attack will cause this effect to expire instantly. Again, no use because usually every character, even on manual, um, attacks instantly for basic attack. So this is... Not going to do it. This is a very, very wrong, very, very worse play. Okay. So next up is going to be Justice Bow. Increase AD and AP by 15. 
damage increase applicable to all characters from Guardian Hoplite, Assassin, Ranger, Caster, and the Duitrix deals more damage to enemies with over than 60 HP. So kind of in the middle type um, on average uh, play. Next up is going to be Gopher Enamored. So either front or back um, character. So placing in the front, placing in the back. Energy recharge and applicable to all as well. This is on your average. This is your average place that you can use if you don't have anything to use. So if by entering battle, instantly gain 4 energy and increase energy recharge by 20%. But this is only for one time. Again, this is only for uh, within, 80, within 8 seconds. So nothing to be, no, no, to, to brag about. Next up is going to be Grand Duke Angular. So either front or back heroes can use it. Crowd control, all heroes can use it as well. So not really impressed with this one. Um, anyway, um, my, my take on my take on these is again, please make sure that you are the hero that you're equipping has crowd control. Otherwise, this you know won't be a good set for that hero. Okay. So next up is going to be Liang Shan Bo. Increase armor by 15. Each debuff of the attacker reduces their damage taken by 4 max 5 stacks. Okay, so this one, this is a weird combo. Each debuff of the attacker requires their damage taken by 4% max 5 stacks. So this one I think has limited or no use as well. AD characters, Guardian, Hoplite, and Assassin. Each debuff on an attacker reduces their damage taken by 4%. Okay. What if it doesn't have a debuff? Okay. Anyway, this is limited or no use. So don't worry about it. Not it nothing to be, you know, to, to look out for. Next up is going, is going to be. We have four more to go, guys. So King Fan. This one. I it's weird. Because crit, uh, this is specially for fire, for, for, for burn, what do you call this? Burn type of, or heroes or characters that can give burn or, or fire characters. So crit rate increased by 15, deals 30 more damage to burning targets who also will be inflicted with weak, low, reduced armor 5%. A burning unit takes when use damage for over 10 turns. So again, this one is for it's very specialized for burn, increased damage to burn targets. So all burn characters can use this of any class. Okay, but this is nice to have, but it's too specialized. It's it's nice with Fen. Probably nice with Rita as well. Hmm. I'll check it out if I have one. So next up is Raul. Attack speed is increased by 30. Um, this one is either front or back. Can use uh, basic attack focus. AD characters, Hoplite, Assassin, and Ranger. So after casting ultimate basic attack deals extra physical damage. Equal to 35% of AD for 10 seconds. Can be triggered at most, ta at most one time every 0.5 seconds. 0 0.5 seconds when a when it is a pyro character, again there's an additional effect. This effect changes to basic attack deals. 65 AD one time can be triggered one most every 0 0.3 seconds. This can this can be used by anybody, but this is really centered on pyro characters. Pyro is actually you know cherished in this game. Okay, so we are down to our last two. We're down to Christine. So Christine, uh, this is applicable to heroes or characters with have summons. Increase damage to targets with burn as well. Okay, so okay, no, not with burn. Um, this is wrong. Deals increase damage based on their current max HP. Damage scales caps at 80 HP. If, if self summoned pet is on the battlefield, then gain one stack of 10% bonus damage every five seconds, max three stacks. So, if you have a summon in, in, in play, this will kick in. So, again, another uh play for Siamcom if you 
choose to get uh, Siamcom live as well as I summon, but they have to be on the battlefield. Okay, so next up and the last one, um, I've used this already. Used this with uh, with media. So Imperial Cat, either front or back heroes can use it. Increase skill damage. It can be used by all. So skill damage. So all meaning you have Hoplite, Assassin, Ranger, Caster. This is for damage dealers. So that is why Guardian and Aduitrix aren't here. But technically, they can still use it. But this is really for damage dealers, especially with huge damage in terms of their skill. So that is it. Guys, I'm sorry. This is a long video. I will attach to the description a, a file wherein you can see the summary of what I, dis I just discussed. I still have to fix the, the file though. Because it's jumbled up and I still have to clean it up for you guys for you to better understand it. So bear with me. Give me a couple of days, probably a day. Then I'll attach it to the description. Hopefully you guys can see the file so that you can reference it when you're looking for plays. Or, or for example, for what, uh, what play is applicable to what type of character. So that is it, guys. Hopefully this helped. This has been a long video. I wanted to get this out because, you know, it's really difficult to mix and match plays with your character. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.